everybody. I'm Natalia Bonner. I'm the crazy person that does a lot of quilting over here. We are having a lot of changes and a lot of exciting things going on here at Peace and Quilt. And one of the really exciting things that's happening, not only do we have a new employee, a new coworker, whatever, but Chriselle has joined our team. She specializes in communications and she's worked really hard on a lot of the back side of the business that all the stuff you are starting to see now with the new classroom dashboard and um kind of a lot of our social media things like that she's been working on but you haven't seen her face as much unless you join our podcast I actually do a podcast with Chriselle as well it's called unlike and I'm gonna plug us for a second we do have a new episode out today that's awesome you should definitely go check that out it's with Kevin Dyson and it was a fabulous interview but Today, the real reason we're here is to, we've introduced you to this classroom dashboard, but we felt like we want you guys to feel like we really are going to help you. We want you to know that we're here for you to show you exactly how we want you to see Chriselle. A lot of you have emailed back and forth with her. This is her. She has a face and I'll just spill the beans because some of you will ask. She is actually my sister, but She's blonde and I'm brunette. So, (laughs) but Chriselle is here and we're super excited. I'm going to kind of let her take over today's video. I'm still going to be here. Ask your questions and Brad will let us know what those questions are, but she's going to really just walk you through step-by-step how, how to work this dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and start right off by coming to the browser. Um, You know, step one in, in logging in is entering the URL and I I'm doing all of this on purpose to show you what will work, what will not work. Um, if you're able to memorize this, it's not difficult. The normal website's peaceandquilt.com. So to get to the URL, if you look at it, what you're going to see is dashboard.peaceandquilt.com. But if you watch when I enter that, um, it doesn't always work. It didn't, it did not work for me this morning. If that's the case, so I'm going to, uh, not paste that in, but what, <laughs> give me a second. So what normally it might want you to do is put in your HTTP and it needs to have the S colon slash slash S meaning that it's a secure site. So then you can do your dashboard dot peace and quilt dot com. And so here's our landing page. So the first thing, and this has been a question a lot of you have emailed me about, we did not do a good job of explaining this. So I, that part of why we're live today so that I can walk you through this and help you understand that this dashboard is separate from your current Peace and Quilt account. So while you already may have a login, you may already have a password where you log in and you're able to see your order and billing history, this is actually a separate account. And I'm going to apologize right now and say I'm sorry. I know that we all hate to have two different places where we have to log in. We hate having to have two usernames, two passwords. The good news is you can use the exact same email and the exact same password that you use for normalpeaceandquilt.com. But because this is a library that is specific for your classes, you have to log in separately. So hopefully that clears that confusion. I, many people, it, and if you're one of these people, do not feel bad. You're not the only one who reached out, and that's why we're addressing this. Many people have written to me and said, I keep trying to log in. It's not letting me, or I, it, it's not taking my password. I've reset my password, and you're not doing anything wrong. We did a horrible job of explaining this is completely separate from your current Peace and Quilt account. So... To help you understand that, we're going to come over here. We're going to click sign in. Before I do that, I want to show you, if you scroll down, what you're looking at right now are what Natalia calls her free stitch alongs. So let's stitch a block a day. The current year of star stitch along that is taking place as well as the nine patch along that took place in the fall. Those are all free stitch alongs that she offered to everyone. Um, And keep in mind, you do, if you want to participate, excuse me, there are some supplies that you may need to purchase in order to participate. The lessons themselves are free. And so we list those here because anybody can join. And I'm pointing that out to you because we're going to see that once we get our account created. 
So I'm going to come up in this top right corner, I'm going to click sign in, and for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to create a new account. So I'm going to use our support email, I'm going to create a password, and I'm going to and see, this is fun. We're doing it live. So I get right here. I click sign in. It's going to say, oh, silly, you don't have an account, invalid email or password. Okay. So you need to come a little further down. Some of you like to log in with your Facebook credentials, your Google, LinkedIn. Those are options. I'm not going to do that because I want to show you if you come all the way to the bottom, here's this option that says create a new account. A little bit hidden, that's not my favorite thing. However, this is the one and only time you ever have to go down here to the bottom. You'll Moving forward, you're always going to come and click on support or on the email to enter your email. So for this purpose, we will hit create a new account, okay? Very simple, we only need your name and your email. And this is simply so that from the back end, when you do have a question, I can look you up by your name. Uh, but also it is, well, that's why, that's why we need it. Okay, terms and conditions, you can go ahead and read those. I, going to uh, be a little transparent and let you know that we are still completing our terms and conditions, but um, you do need to check mark that box to, um, to clarify that you have read and agreed to those, and then you can go ahead and hit sign up. And that's all. You're in. You didn't even have to wait. You didn't have to go to your email to click. You are in. So really it was that simple. We need a first name, a last name, an email and a password. Your email and your password can be the same email and password that you use on every other site where you have credentials saved. Um, you might see there, are you seeing that pop up Natalia? Down here in my the bottom corner. I just got an email notification that says, welcome to Peace and Quilt. And so you will get that over in your email. Um, we can hop on over here and look at emails for a second. So are you seeing my email? Welcome, Chrishell Fulmer, your account has been created. So you'll now have that, you'll have the URL that you can click on to then take you over to um, the, the dashboard. Okay, so now You're we're not showing it, but I think they'll get the idea that they'll get an email as well as be signed right in. Okay, that's perfect, that's perfect. So now we're logged in and this is the next place where people have some confusion because they are seeing these three classes right here. And some people are saying, wait a minute, I those aren't classes that I've signed up for, or there's classes in my dashboard, they're not mine. Uh, some people have gone ahead and clicked on them and then intuitively figured out that once you click on this, there's this great big orange button that says enroll for free. So remember, these are our free stitch alongs. You can add that to your dashboard right now. You can go ahead and click enroll. And we're going to do that, but before we do, I want to back up to just walk you through this again. So this, this is kind of the landing page where Natalia's stitch alongs are going to always show. And as she creates more stitch alongs down the road, those will be added to this first thing that you see once you get logged in. Okay, so that's that's everything here. Um, this page is called All Courses. It, once we start clicking up here in the top, you may get lost. If you see this orange All Courses, it's going to bring you back to this page. Okay, so now that we do get to this place, uh, I'm going to tell people often, go to the upper right corner, go to the upper right corner. So up here in the top right corner, there is a little tiny drop down arrow next to your name. And if you click my account, you can come in and see your personal settings. So if you decide that you do want to change your password, you're able to enter it here. So I am going to now change my password. I didn't like the one that I created. This is something that we're also hearing from a few people. So I, I going to show you this it is a little bit it's not intuitive and so that's why i wanted to point this out you need to enter the new password that you would like to create and then you need to retype it and then you need to enter your current password and you're going to hit update 
And when I hit update, up here at the very top, it says successfully updated your password. If you were not watching closely, you may have missed that. And instead, what you're seeing is that all of these fields blanked out and nothing happened. Well, in fact, it did, but you saw how quick that notification bar popped up up here across the top and then it went away. So I want to reassure you that if you tried changing your password, it did probably work, but it's it, it happens quick and it's easy to miss. So don't stress out. However, if it is completely stressing you out, send me an email. I can reset from my end and I can get you going again. Uh, the only other thing that I'm going to point out today, when you're back here on profile, if you would like, you can upload a picture, you can add professional information. Nobody really sees this besides me, and so it's not something that you have to do. However, when I do go through accounts from the back side, sometimes I do see pictures, and that's kind of fun because then I have a face associated with who I'm working with. But by no means do you need to feel obligated to get that added. Certificates is a place where you're able to come. We're going to talk about certificates a little later on, but um, well, I, I, let me just tell you, as you complete a course, a certificate will be issued. These are fun certificates. By no means do you need a certificate to be an expert quilter. This isn't like um, some professional fields that require certification in order to stay current or um, you know, continue practicing in a certain field. So this is something that we thought would be a lot of fun to offer. But again, it it is by no means something that's required in, for, in order for you to accept quilts from um, people who are asking you to quilt for them. You don't need to show certification and say that you're a certified quilter, but why not? Why not tell them that you're certified in Natalia's, Natalia Bonner's Visual Guide to Free Motion Quilting? And and, and here's the certificate to prove it. So as you do start completing those courses, all of those certificates will live here in your account. All right, uh, billing and order history are two fields that you're never going to play with at this time. Play isn't the right word, but because this account is a little bit different from main piece and quilt, um, we are not taking billing information or doing orders over here in the course dashboard. So you can ignore this. All right, so people are logged in, they end up on that page that says all classes. And then they say to me, I can't see my classes or Chriselle, I got the email that said add borders and sashing to my da dashboard, but I can't see it. So the next thing I remind people is once you are logged in, you need to come back to the upper right hand corner and click on my dashboard. And now you see there's nothing there. I don't have any classes. Um, I have not been enrolled in anything. And so I'm going to click view more. And this brings me back over here to all courses where I'm able to see those free classes. And so I can come and click on one. I'm currently working on a year of stars quilt. I want to get that added so that I can be made aware of the upcoming lessons. So I go ahead and click enroll for free. And just like that, it will now be on my dashboard. Before we do click enroll and, and go deeper into that, I want to show you that when you are out here and you're choosing whether or not to add a class to your dashboard, there is an option to preview the course. And so you click on it. And on this preview page, you're going to be able to see a preview of the curriculum for the course. In this case, for a for the block a day class, we have a required materials and supplies part and every single lesson moving forward is going to have this required this prerequisite where we ask that you first review the materials and supplies. These are emailed to you at the time that you make your class purchase, but as a reminder, we're going to store them here as well. So if you lose your receipt, if you lose that copy of your billing history, you can come over here, find the class on your dashboard and then be able to refer to that so that you know everything that you need to participate in the class. You'll also see that there's a required video that we're asking you to watch. 
and then you can click this next drop down to see all of the lessons. In the case of a block a day, you guys may be familiar with the course that has 365 different ideas on how to stitch a different block with one of Natalia's machine quilting rulers. All 365 of those videos have been added, and that's simply what this is showing you. Most of our other classes have eight to 10, maybe two dozen lessons. So I maybe I picked a bad example to show you, but, but all of those lessons, it's just showing you with that little video camera icon that these are all different videos. And then when you get to the bottom, you can see some reviews from people who have already taken the course or um, are currently in the middle of taking the course. And we encourage you to leave reviews as well. You all know that as someone who's looking to sign up or to pay for a class, that it might be interesting to hear what others are saying. And so your feedback is going to be vital in helping others decide whether or not they want to participate as well. So that's a brief look at what this overview is. We went ahead and enrolled. We can enroll in this one as well. And so once you enroll, I'm going to, it's going to bring you to this page where now you're in, bam, you can see and you're ready to go and you can start clicking through and um, going through the lessons. Before we do that, I just want to show you that because we clicked enroll, um, we are currently on my dashboard. But, it, but just to look at that again, I'm clicking it, and now you can see my courses. And my courses is different from that first page that said all courses, okay? So we've added two courses to our dashboard, and if we click my dashboard, we're able to see our personalized dashboard where the classes we want are now displayed. I'm going to, I'm going to pause here and talk about the paid classes because these that we're looking at are only those stitch alongs that Natalia has offered. And so um, if you purchase a class as part of the receipt that you are emailed, you're going to get a URL link or a QR code that you can scan. And when you do, you will be provided that link that gets you into your paid course. And so it's easy to do. You just need to click that link. But but I, I want to emphasize that it is on you. It is your responsibility to click on that link to get it into your dashboard. It doesn't happen automatically. It's not something that just intuitively shows up. Um, if you have problems adding that, email me. Shoot me an email. I, I love adding classes to dashboards. Um, but but I don't know, I don't get email, you know, we have people, lots of people shopping every single day. So I don't have the ability to look at every single class that's purchased throughout the day and go in and add those to dashboards. And, and you might not want to wait, but you have that link. And if you click on it, it shows up. So just wanted to, to uh, clarify that. Um, so now we're looking at our personal dashboard. We've added two classes. So next time, we log out. In fact, let's do that because we changed that password and we just want to make sure that everything's working. So um, another thing I tell people, when you get that email from Peace and Quilt, it's got the link in there. It's going to show you how to log in. But if you lose that, if you forget what the link is, you can come to Normal Peace and Quilt. And then if you click on Natalia's classes, right here at the top, we've got the link, Visit My Course Dashboard. And so that's going to normally bring you back to our dashboard page. If this happens, let us know. That hasn't normally happened. Live demonstration though, there we go. Okay, so I, I went back when I came back and refreshed, then it worked. So we're going to log in. I'm wondering, I'm going to, because I do have a couple of accounts, I'm going to try a different one where I've already got a couple of those purchased classes added, just to show you a little bit more robust dashboard. So here's a different one that I've created. And in this case, you can see that um, this time it took me directly to my own dashboard. And so I've 
um, signed up for the Europe Star Stitch Along. I've signed up for a block a day, and then I've purchased borders and sashing, and I've purchased scallops. So you're starting to get a look at how this builds out as you add classes to it. Um, and it's kind of fun to see your progress. This 11% showing me I've gone through 11% of the Year of Stars course. And we just acknowledged I'm a terrible quilter, so I'm only 0% in these other classes. Okay, before I go a little deeper into the classes, I'm going to scroll down and show you my communities. So this community section is a place where you can come and um, visit with other people who are also in the same class. And so I'm getting ready for borders and stitching. In fact, that starts on Monday. I've got a question. I And I'm going to use this very real example of I'm piecing my own quilt. And I know that there was some confusion with the measurements in the book. I've heard that there's an update, but I need to refer back. I need to find those numbers. And so if you come to your dashboard and then scroll down below your classes to the community, you will find that information. A community over here on the dashboard is the exact same concept as a Facebook group. This is a place where you can come and post a question, you can comment, you can um, interact with Natalia who has been very interactive and answering questions. So you'll come I'm going you can sort these so up here at the top I'm going to say I want to see I, I like seeing most recent uh, maybe I want to see the one that has the most comments uh, but right here at the top we have a pinned post that Natalia created and there's those piecing pattern updates so if I actually click on it then I see all of the numbers here for the changes that need to be made as I get my quilt top finished and you can see Charlotte asked a question, just wanting to double check the border measurements and Natalia caught that and yep, you're correct, Charlotte, you're on your way. Okay, so I, as a user, I can come, I can add another comment and um, can't wait for the class to start. I'm going to post my comment and now I am in there along with Charlotte and Natalia commenting on this post that she originally created. Okay, so we encourage you to check this feature out and to use it if you don't want to keep going back and forth between Facebook and the dashboard, you can hop in here and um, ask your question. Okay, so that's what a community is and I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of communities when you sign up for a new class when you pay for a class, these communities will automatically show up on your dashboard. Okay, so now we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the class itself and understand how it works. To start off, I'm going to pick on borders and sashing because that's a new class that has not yet launched. And so I want to show you how it looks different from a class that has already been launched. Once you log in, the first thing that you're going to see over here is the introduction. And this introduction, or the different chapters, if you will, have just very much like an outline style, has a great big bullet point. And if I click the drop down arrow, I will then be able to see some of those um, sub points that show up under the main point. So um, I'm choosing to look at the introduction and I see those prerequisites, but I don't want to look at the prerequisites. I want to jump right into a lesson. And so I'm clicking on lesson two and I get this bummer news. Lesson two has not yet been released. This content will be available to you on next week. Okay, so uh, anyway, that's a little bit of what you're seeing right now as you log in. And we've told everyone who has currently signed up for Borders and Sashing to come in and familiarize with the dashboard. I'm picking on Borders and Sashing at the moment because this is the first time that we're going to be doing a class through the new dashboard. And 
So I know that new technology can be a little bit intimidating and we want to make sure that you're comfortable and you feel ready to go on Monday when that first class, excuse me, when that first class debuts. And so if, as you get over here and you start poking around, you're going to see that um, those classes are in there, they're ready to go, but they won't unlock until the, the day that they're scheduled. So right now- Michelle, I'm gonna jump in here really quickly yeah. because I think we've had the question about Inter so when you come into a class like this and you click on introducing borders and sashing down at the bottom of the screen is an orange button that says complete and continue. Those first prerequisites, you have to watch those or view those and then complete and continue. The way the dashboard setup is, it will not let you even go to the lessons until the prerequisites are completed. So I just want to point that out when you're like, it's locked or it won't let me go beyond. It's not even going to let you watch that first video, the first lesson when it's released on Monday morning until you've made sure that you've come in here and watched those prerequisite videos and checked out the materials. So and sorry, I just had to interrupt that. Ask you the question, um, why did we decide to make that be a requirement? So we did decide to make this a requirement and kind of make you jump through a little bit of a hoop because it does seem like a lot of times, probably one of the biggest questions we have are kind of the basics that we explain in these intro videos and the materials and supplies, the, yeah, the materials and supplies, the things that I recommend that everybody use for these classes, we're getting skipped over. So we just wanted it to be in a place where you knew that you had seen that it was right up there at the top. So all of these classes are set up that way that you will have to click that orange button complete and continue to finish off those. Yeah, I think we were getting a lot of repeat questions. And so this is our effort to try to mitigate the numerous questions that come in that are the same question over and over. Correct? Yeah, absolutely. So to kind of show you what Natalia was just talking about in here in Borders and Sashing, I come down and we have made some bonus videos available that have um, already debuted. I want to maybe learn a little bit about machine quilting fast borders. And so I click on it, even though that's already been unlocked and it's available to look at, I'm not available to view it because I haven't completed those prerequisites at the beginning. So I'm going to say, okay, got it. And you don't need to feel bad about that. Just like Natalia said, come back up here to the introduction, click into, it, this is going to look familiar. You've all received it every time you've purchased something in the past. But when I click on materials and supplies, here's this infamous PDF that you each receive in your email that tells you what you need to get started in the class. And I, I'm clicking right on it and I'm able to scroll up and down kind of as if I'm working in a Word document. Um, all of these links are hyperlinks. So very easy for you to click on to go back and find your uh supplies for your class we have information on the books that are required recommended measuring tape it, you guys know the drill okay so um we have added in some information about skill level i know natalia and i have talked about how we've had people who have become more interested in some of the newer classes that have been issued and and they've signed up but then started the class and realized that maybe they needed to take a different class before they were ready for this class. And, and that's just something that even on our end, we're beginning to understand. We may need to, in the future to start labeling our classes as beginner, intermediate, advanced. So uh, we're, we're putting some information in here about some other classes that you may also want to check out. And, and then again, the copy of that QR, QR code that links you to this course. So. We've done that now, we looked at this, and so we're going to hit complete and continue. And once you do that, you get this fun orange check mark over here. And then uh, it tells me I still can't watch the next lesson. However, there is this video that we can watch. You may have already seen this video. Natalia originally shared it on YouTube. As a refresher, you may want to come and watch it again. For the sake of this demonstration, we're not going to watch the whole thing, but the little uh, tidbit is that we can hit complete and continue if we feel confident that we're ready to move on. So we're going to say continue. We have not completed the course, but um, 
but we're now ready to start our lessons, which are going to debut on Monday. And in the meantime, we can come down and we can watch the bonus videos because we're just so excited and we can't wait. So here's a fun video on machine quilting borders with rulers and we can watch that right away. Okay. I'm going to pause and I'm going to come back over to Brad and Natalia and I'm going to pick on Brad because I know that this is where he helps us out a lot. And I'm going to say, Brad, do we have any questions up to this point? And if you've just been watching closely and, and haven't dared type a question, I'm going to give you a, a second to go ahead and write those questions. Um, before we come back over and look at a class that has been completely launched. So the first question Brad had was from Teresa, I believe. And she asked, is this where all my class lessons will be from now on? Yes. So, and I'm going to add to that. We are still going to continue to post the free videos, the bonus videos, those videos will continue. The stitch along videos will be on YouTube. Those of you that have taken classes in the past know that we hosted those classes on Facebook. We no longer are going to host any classes on Facebook. If you've taken a class in the past and you've watched your videos on Facebook, we want you to join this new dashboard because eventually those classes on Facebook will be gone. All of the content will live here. We know a lot of you, well, not all of you, but some of you don't prefer to use Facebook. So we feel like this is going to be a great place where it's secure, it's private. You know, Chrishell's talking about your passwords. We never see your passwords. Everything will just be really nice and clean here. We will still continue to have the Facebook community group. We have one big show and tell group where you can show your projects, but there will not be any links to any lessons in Facebook. It's all going to be here on this dashboard. So was yeah. there another? Okay, and there was a few about logging in and it looks like Dustin's been helping and I'll just continue and add to that. If you do have questions about logging in, just always email us. Corshell's here to help, Brad's here to help all the time. And the email support at peaceandquilt.com is really the great or the easiest place to send us an email and we'll be on it and help you and get you in the classes. And was there any other? I think another one was a couple of people wondered if they could come back and watch this video later absolutely we're going to save this we'll also publish this video on youtube so you can always come back and get help joining but we're here to help too so is there any others okay <laughs> continue on so i'm going to walk through now that we've and and look guys we have done some progress we're now 11 percent complete in borders and sashing so yay all right i'm going to come over to uh well, gosh, I'm not going to pick on a year of stars because that's also a live class right now, right? Where Natalia's sharing lessons clear through December. So I'm, I'm going to not use that one as our next example. And uh, instead, we'll come back to a block a day because we've already been in there. Um, so now that you're kind of familiarizing with and you're understanding, it's much like reading a book. Okay, over here in that left hand column, you here's all of your chapters and you just you get to decide how you want to skip around if you're going to skip to chapter 32 or if you want to go in order and go one, two, three, four, five. Um, so again, we came to the introduction and we hit the infamous prerequisites. So here's our materials and supplies. We feel confident that we have already gathered all of those so we can hit complete and continue. Uh, this one, we, we did go ahead and make this video a prerequisite in this particular course simply because the 365 book is such a complimentary book to the stitch along. And Natalia, for those of you who are newer to Peace and Quilt, Natalia did the stitch along first and came back and made the book after. And so the book is a great resource because it's going to have the patterns inside of it, but um, you, so anyway, understanding that you may or may not decide to purchase the book, but we, we want to, we want you to understand that. And, and so we put in a little bit more about that. So you can go ahead and watch that video. You can hit complete and continue, which um, is now going to unlock all of our lessons. Yay. And in this particular example, we now have 365 lessons that we can choose from. Um, 
I'm going to give a little shout out to Dustin who programmed all of those for us. That took a lot of work. So we're very grateful. You guys all know that you can find these on YouTube. You know that they have been shared over in Facebook groups in the past. The benefit of the dashboard is you no longer have to scroll around. You no longer have to search. You can come in here, like I said, just as if you're reading a chapter book and come in and quickly scroll down to block 221. I heard from a lady, a quilter, who told me that she was really frustrated because she was getting the daily updates all of the emails or the YouTube notifications during the 365 stitch along and she got to the very end she got clear to 360 and she never got notifications for the last five and she, I can understand that she was completely frustrated well now instead of having to go out on YouTube and search around to find those they're all going to live right here for you in the library so the great thing about um, these courses once we get through the live ones <clears throat> this isn't the case for borders and sashing right now because it's going to happen live but three weeks from now when borders and sashing is complete for that course for all of the ones natalia has offered in the past you can come in and jump around you do not need to follow in order although we advise and recommend that but if you had historically watched a lesson about machine quilting a fake quilt block and you just want to come back and look at that or you're not really interested in the hooligan you don't think you would ever have use for the hooligan you want to skip ahead uh, you have that option so we're going to come in we're going to find our fireball tutorial we're going to hit play and and there you go so going to push pause on that we got through it say we watch to the end we can hit complete and continue and look it turns orange so that will continue every time you watch a video to the end you'll get your orange check mark once you complete the entire class and you're seeing this pop up on my screen when you complete the entire class you will have an opportunity to leave a review this is not necessary but if you choose to do so, it will show up back there at the, uh, the place where I showed you that reviews are displayed and they're a great way to let others know what they can expect if they're considering to purchase the class. So that's a good overview. We've taken a, a long time to go very in depth, very into detail about how the dashboard works, why we're doing it and what you can expect. This dashboard is completely free. If you're considering to opt in, it's not something that you have to pay for. It is a place where even if you have never purchased a class, you can come and get these free stitch alongs added to your dashboard and start following along. You can learn from others. You can learn from Natalia and see how she's using some of the great tools that she provides to help you become a better quilter. Natalia, um, any other questions? We had a couple ahead of time. I'm going to look at my notes real quick to make sure we've covered everything, but anything else that you're thinking of we may have missed? I think that kind of covers the basics. I guess maybe the only other thing I would say is <clears throat> when you're on this dashboard right here and up at the top, it says Natalia's classes, that's where you can link, you can click on that and that's where you can go over to the dashboard, the other dashboard, and that's where you can purchase more classes, you know, learn about all of the classes that we have available. Then right there where you see visit my course dashboard, that's how you're going to go back over to the dashboard. I, okay. I do have a couple okay. of good questions that we have um, had in the few, in the past. So I'm going to, I already have a login, but that's not working. So if you tuned in or you missed this at the beginning, we did talk about that. This dashboard is separate from your existing piece and quilt account. So yes, you do have to create a second account. Um, the good news is you can use the same email and the same password. So hopefully that removes some of that stress of having to remember yet another password. Uh, yeah. when, when I log in, I can see three classes, but I can't see the rest of them. We did walk through that as well. So if you missed that, be sure to, once we finish this recording, you can go back and rewind and watch that again. Do the prerequisites cost money? Uh, yes and no. I, when I received this question, I was not sure exactly what was being referred to. If you're talking about these prerequisites inside of the lesson, no, they don't cost money. They, it's that materials and supplies list that we looked at. It is maybe an introduction video that Natalia has put together, introducing you to the class and letting you know what to expect. 
Uh, but we do in, in the materials and supplies list, remember we showed you uh, in Borders and Sashin that there were some recommended classes that you take before you jump into a more advanced class like Borders and Sashin. And so we don't require that. We do not require that you go take beginner's guide to free motion quilting before you come over to Borders and Sashin, but we do just list it as a suggestion. So if you choose to purchase that class, yes, that would cost money but that's not a requirement to continue in the class that you're already signed up in. That was a great question though. Do I have to watch the videos in order? We just walked through that and the answer is no. Um, with the live class, those of course will be launched every day, unveiled in order. So if you're following along, naturally you will follow in order. But if you're purchasing a class or thinking about purchasing one that is already in our library, nope. The minute you complete your prerequisites, you can jump to whatever lesson you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, here was another good question we've had. How can I opt out of weekly reminders? So every Sunday morning, you're going to receive an email reminder letting you know that you are currently 11% through borders and sashing or 50 set you've completed 57% of let's stitch a block a day. I've heard from both sides of the fence. Some people have told me they love the reminders. It helps them stay on track. Others have told me it's a little bit annoying. I had a, a, um, a third group of people say things to me kind of like, oh, it makes me feel guilty. I've had a really busy week. And I know that that quilt's in the other room. I know it needs to be worked on. I just didn't have time. And when I saw that email, it made me feel guilty. So a couple things. First of all, we're not tracking you. We're not big brother. We're not watching to see how quick you're moving through your lessons. That's a system default option that happens. By default, you're going to get an email. You do have the option to turn that off and we, we should look at that. So. Mind you, this is just for the emails related to your course progress. This is not the emails that we send out during the week, letting you know about things going on at the shop. If you would like to change your notification emails, then up here in the top right corner, you watch me click that drop down arrow and I came to my account. And then over here under notifications, we can choose to deselect weekly reminder emails, or notify me when someone replies to a discussion I created, or receive an email when someone responds to comments or posts that you follow. All great things that you may want to be notified of. In this case, maybe I don't want that weekly email, but heck yeah, I'd like to know when someone replies to a discussion I started over in one of those community boards. Um, so I'm going to leave both of those selected and hit save changes. That was a good question. I, I hear from many people every Sunday morning and uh, and it's all great. It's all great. But for those of you who don't want these weekly reminders, you can turn them off. Um, I'm just going to add to this too, because I've also received the weekly reminders because I'm enrolled in all the classes. <laughs> but at the bottom of that email, the email is really, really simple. The bottom right hand corner, there's a little link that says change your settings and it takes you right to the screen. So it's, if you get that email and you're like, ah, you don't even have to go log into your dashboard. Just click on that link and it, you're here. It's so easy. Yeah, super easy. Um, other questions I have been asked how to add a free stitch along. I think we've covered that. And for paying customers, how to scan a barcode and add the class to the dashboard. So that's a good question. I, I mentioned the QR code and we just looked at a sample of it over on one of those materials and supplies lists. I think at this point, people are familiarizing a lot more with QR codes simply because of the coronavirus pandemic. We're seeing them a lot at restaurants. That seems to be where I personally see them the most. As menus are being taken away, we sit down at a restaurant table and we're asked to scan a QR code with our smartphone. Uh, if you haven't done that, I know that it's, again, it's a technology. It's something we, there are people who haven't done this and it's kind of weird. So uh, here on my screen, I've pulled up the, first of all, this is what the QR code, it looks kind of like a barcode. Difference between a barcode and a QR code 
most obvious difference is that a QR code is a square. And so if you see this square, and I'm, I'm going to show you that I'm, I've got my cell phone here. And so if on my phone, I open the camera, I, so I don't have to have an app to do this. I don't have to have anything fancy. Well, with my newer phone, if you have an older phone, you may need to get an app and the apps are free. Just do a search for a QR code reader, but use your, so I, I'm on this camera view and I'm going to just pretend like I'm taking a picture of the QR code as I get into that. I get this pop up that comes on my screen. So my camera read that code and it says tap here to go to and it just went off my screen. So I'm going to do it again, scan it. Maybe. Okay, so I click the link that popped up on my screen and now I'm going to show you that just by scanning it, I now have that class loaded in my web browser. Okay, but I did that on my phone and some of you may not want to do your phone for that. So back on this email that you're going to get every time you purchase a class, we've also got the URL uh, embedded right here. And if you click on that URL, it's going to do the same thing and bring you right over here to the dashboard. So you can get that added into your personal dashboard. So, uh, and it will show up right here. And as we looked at at the beginning of this training, rather than say resume class, this bright orange button will say enroll for free. And that's all you need to do is click enroll. Just one or two other questions that we have faced um, up to this point. Uh, let me see. We talked about communities and then, okay. This is a good question. Those of you who have previously signed up for a class are wondering, do I need to move to the new, bash, the new dashboard? And I think Natalia covered that pretty well. The answer is yes, those Facebook classes are eventually going away. And so this is a migration process. You do want to make sure that you come over to the new dashboard and get set up. We have previously emailed every single person who ever signed up for a class and let them know that they need to move over, create an account, and this is what you do to get your classes added to your dashboard. And we've had a little bit of everything. We've had people who have very successfully added every class to their dashboard. We've had other people who couldn't even figure out how to create the account, let alone get classes added. You guys, it is very easy for me to help out. It is very easy for me to jump in from the back end and add a class to your dashboard, um, create the account for you if you're really struggling. So don't be shy. Don't hesitate. If you're having a question, please reach out and please ask. We will make sure that you get all of those classes into your dashboard. That being said, we certainly have some that have fallen through the cracks. And so if, if you see that there's something missing, I guarantee you it's not you, it's us. So just be vocal, speak up and let us know and we'll make sure to get that added for you. Uh, okay, uh, so yes, if you missed that email, give us, a, give us a shout. You can just email support at peaceandquilt.com. And then I just want you to know that some of you have a couple different accounts with us because you use different emails. Uh, within within the shopping portal, within the order history. Um, and I've talked with some of you about that. Some of you have changed names. Some of you have your account under your name, but then when you uh, check out, you use your husband's information. And so we're doing our very best to go through all of our data and make sure that we have not missed anyone or any class. I just want you to understand that we're doing our very best to go through a lot of different circumstances and situations and sometimes we miss someone it's it's not because we're being lazy it's not because we're not working around the clock to make this smooth for everyone it's just because there's a lot of situations out there and so we're we're doing our very best to get everybody added and up to speed and then the last thing i would just point out is that the 365 class took longer to upload in its entirety because of the sheer fact that there are 365 lessons. So for those of you who created your dashboard at the beginning of February, you may have logged in initially and seen the materials. In fact, we can look at this. 
the materials and supplies were there and maybe the introduction video, but nothing else. So I, I just want to reassure you that that class is now fully loaded, that every single lesson has been added. And so if you looked at it initially and thought it was, in, was not complete, you're not crazy. That was the case. It has been finished. So please take advantage of the 365 course. Come in, check out those blocks, and let's get stitching. I like what you said there. <laughs> <laughs> let's get stitching. I think that was awesome. I think you did a really good job going through and really explaining the dashboard. Um, just to tell everybody, if you had more questions that Chriselle didn't answer, we weren't able to go over, leave a comment, let us know, feel free to send us an email. We really are here to help you out. You now, our goal is to make a really great quilting community and really to educate and inspire others. It's, we're here for you. So let us know if you need any help. But if there's no other questions, thank you everybody for joining us today. It was a little bit longer video, but we just felt like we really needed to go through and show you guys all of this. We wanted you to see all of the information. Like we said, it will be saved here. You can come back and refer to it whenever you want. But I guess the last thing I have to say is Monday is borders and sashing. I'm also kind of showing you something here that I'm hiding, but not showing, but showing. I can't wait for Monday. I'm having so much fun with the year of stars. We're off to a great start with this year. We have more stitch alongs and classes coming this year and more things. The future's bright, guys. We're really excited and we're excited to have Crucial here as part of the team. And some of you have seen Dustin's been helping behind the scenes with some of the tech stuff too. So thank you, everybody. We're off to a great start for this fun new year. Bye.